Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. I'm gonna be checking out this grill from Life Do. They, uh, they were nice enough to send this to me. And uh, I'm gonna assemble it here and show you what it looks like. Ten thumbs when I try to put it together. Right, of course. Yeah. Uh huh. You missed the photo up. <laughs> Bike. All right, so she's all together now. Here she is. Got the place to put fuel, which I'm gonna go get some, but I'm gonna do it off camera, so you don't have to watch me. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, wood from out here. I get these three support pieces. Uh, rack on the bottom, so ash can fall through onto the pan. Let's get a fire in this sucker. Get some food cooking because we kind of skipped lunch because we were talking, and uh, yeah, I'm starving, so let's get to it. All right, just gonna use a zip fire starter, and make things simple. I just put a piece of bark down to keep the fuel from dropping down. At least still burns off. I don't want to melt my camera. As you can see, the fire's burning along nicely, no problems. Because of the, uh, it's got plenty of airflow through the, the sign they put there. Actually, I think I got that backwards. Life dude's supposed to be the other way. And I got the handle here, so I get plenty of airflow. Gotta say, so far, I'm liking it. I'm not worried about this gauge of steel because it's pretty thick gauge steel so I think you can handle a fire just fine. Well I can't believe I got the uh, letters backwards. <coughs> uh, 
That's all right. Shouldn't shouldn't affect grill performance. That's kind of funny. I got the lettering on the other side backwards as well. trying to be polite to my viewers. Don't you have to have like a hundred thousand people start watching them to get paid for some videos and stuff? And you get right. So it tells you if people halfway watch the video or watch the full thing? No. Okay. <laughs> You're safe. <laughs> I have fast forwarded. <laughs> I'll fast forward th through your greeting. Yo, one and all. Hope everybody's doing. I'll fast forward through that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Thankfully, I keep them short. Yeah. That's a, that's another big key is keeping the video short where um, you keep their attention mostly. Yeah, those look really good. And they do get a little dark, but yeah, you know, you're cooking over fire. What are you gonna do? I can't wait to eat them. Keep them on the move. By the way, it really annoys me that they pack these five per when six buns come to a bag. It's like, why can't you throw in the extra piece of meat? Like, give me the meat, man. Give me the meat. So I had to throw on some beans as well. Just some can of baked beans. And some of these got a little charred, but that's all right. It should be done. I mean, they shrink quite a bit. Bun with some mustard. Nice. Roasted brat. <laughs> Smoke in the eyes. Typical. Should have toasted the bun. Didn't think about it till later. Some beans as well. That's right. I was dying down just a little bit, so I thought I'd throw a couple of pieces of piece of wood on to make sure my beans are hot. You can just slide the fuel right in. This one maybe. Bit of an issue. Oh, there we go. So, <laughs> well, as you can see, the uh, pan below is catching all the ash. The little bit of wood I threw in there caught right up. My beans are warm. Well, warm enough to eat. But uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of full now because I had three brats. So maybe I'll munch on them a little bit later. <clears throat> but all in all, I just have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a great grill. 